When season one started off, you kind of were like this kind of high school student that was sort of helping out in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And then by season two, you were like the doctor and surgeon and like operating on people. So how do you feel like the, the growth of your character, how is that to play? It was, um, it was as, I think, surprising for me as it was for her, you know. It was, you know, she wasn't expecting to be taking bullets out of people's abdomens, you know, and doing crazy things like that as, you know, I wasn't either. But when those are kind of the only people you have in a group that's small and stuff, like literally you're just put to the test and you're put to the, you know, stone or whatever that phrase is. But, um, but yeah, and it's cool because you come from like just trying to put on gloves correctly to like this season, like giving people like a full on diagnosis, you know, about what their future, the future of their loved one is going to be like. And it's, you, you gain a lot of respect for caregivers and stuff like that. And what about in uh, season two, you basically suffer kind of a loss mm -hmm. and so how does that gonna change your character moving forward into season three um, she's just a lot more mature and I think a lot more to the point I think she before I feel like she's kind of innocent and still unsure in second season even though less I mean more so uh, less so than first season but in this season she just is kind of you know even the writers are talking about it you know Lourdes is just like ready to just keep going and just be herself and not really take anybody's black or you know so. can you Tease season three for us a little bit? Tease season three. Um, it's hard to. Um, but I'll just say that these new aliens um, cause a lot of ruckus. You know, whether it's ruffling our feathers or the other feathers, um, there's a lot of crazy stuff that goes down because <laughs> of all of that. So, yeah.